The Firefox Roadrunner Pro D is one of the most popular hybrid bicycles in India. Over the years, the Roadrunner has evolved to only become better like wine. And this is only because the pricing, the features and the looks are just perfect. But there's more why the bike is a favorite among newbie, avid and even those who love riding long distance. Let's review the Firefox Roadrunner Pro D. As expected, the Firefox Roadrunner Pro D is made from alloy, a combination of circular and square tubes with a matte finish paint job gives it a premium look. While the frame looks very classy, in our opinion, it's slightly heavier. The Roadrunner is pretty versatile and can be ridden on smooth as well as moderately rough surfaces. Besides, the upright position makes it ideal for those looking to spend long hours cycling. The Roadrunner Pro D comes with a suspension fork that reduces the vibrations from the road to a higher extent. The handlebar is 600mm wide and comes with nice comfortable grips that let you set your palms and ride long distances. On our ride, we notice that these grips provide padding and vibration dampening to keep hands comfortable even on extremely long or bumpy rides. Besides, there's also an adjustable alloy stem that helps in customizing your position on the bike as per your comfort. This is one of the unique features of the Firefox Roadrunner that makes it so likeable. However, it can only be used to make small changes to your position. The handling of the bike is fast due to the thin wheels and the short riser handlebar. And as a budget entry level bike, it seems to be right. The Firefox Roadrunner is powered with a Shimano Acera RD and a Shimano Torni FD. The gears are controlled with EF500 7-speed shifters. Designed to work in tough condition, Acera works beautifully as it's made for hard labor. Besides, it's lighter than the Torni and Altis and doesn't really cost a lot. What we liked about Shimano Acera is it doesn't require much maintenance either. On the other hand, the Shimano Torni FD lies right at the bottom and this is what you get on almost all budget bikes. The braking is pretty powerful too with the Tektro mechanical disc brakes. This is the first time we use these mechanical brakes by Shimano and we really like them. However, we did find the bike to be slightly harder as compared to other Tektro brakes. Besides, maintaining these disc brakes is quite easy too. As expected, this budget entry-level hybrid comes with 36 spokes double-walled alloy rims that are strong and durable. They're perfect to take the beating on our Indian roads but seem to be slightly heavy that add more weight to the overall bicycle. These rims are complemented with 700-32C nylon tires that roll pretty well with the Quando hubs that come with a really good cup and cone setup. They also have a quick release that makes it easy to remove the wheels. We have been using the bike for the last 6 months and the saddle is pretty comfortable. It has enough padding and does offer comfort on your long rides. However, the outside of the seat just started to peel off with time. If you really like this bike, the seat peeling can be prevented with the use of a seat cover. If you are looking to buy bicycle accessories that go along with the Firefox Roadrunner Pro D, we have listed a few links from Amazon below. The seat post also comes with a quick release that makes it very easy to adjust the seat height. Now coming to the pros and cons. We really like the frame geometry, the hubs, wheels and the drivetrain. However, we found the bike way heavy. Besides the overall weight of the bike, there's nothing much we would want to change here. Now moving on to what we didn't like. The seat crumbling of its bed and the zoom adjustable stem. We'd rather prefer a normal stem that could be swapped if required. We'd also prefer a flat bar instead of the riser handlebar for much more versatility and precise turning. So if you are looking for performance focused hybrid, the Roadrunner Pro is a good bet.